This is a book on investing, but there are times when investing needs to take a back seat to other goals. Three in particular, and here's what you need to know. First, you have outstanding credit card debt. And the average interest rate on outstanding credit card debt, this is money that you're not able to pay back each month, is 19.6%. That is an anchor that just crushes any hopes of financial freedom. Make that your top focus. Number two, you have short-term goals. What I said earlier, well, yes, the stock market offers the greatest potential for long-term, growth. It also offers the most potential for short-term loss. If you're looking to buy a home in two years, the stock market isn't the place to park that down payment. You can't take the risk in the big stock market decline over that two years. And then number three, if you require government aid, plus 20% of the U.S. population requires government aid in some capacity. And in my opinion, wrongly, if you have savings, it can impact that a political leaders, government officials listening to this video, help shouldn't hold people back. This is a conversation we should have. Here's the action step. What if instead of phrasing this from the standpoint of when do I take no investment risk, I had asked when do I take less investment risk? You know, retirement, you also wanna to be toning back, reducing the amount of risk in your investment portfolio.